in London. The oldest parts date back to around 200 AD. So this is me doing my first ever beautiful piece of street art here in London. Let's do it. everybody how are you doing and welcome to a brand new video i am out in london again and i could not be more excited today i am with ollie who's over there from discover real london and also with gerd who's over there and the three of us we are going to do a black cab tour of london it's called a staycation tour we're going to look at some true hidden gems and i'm very excited to take you along let's go And just like that, we are at our very first stop. This is Leak Street Tunnel, a very famous place in London with street art and graffiti. And I believe we are going to create our very own art piece ourselves. So this is me doing my first ever beautiful piece of street art here in London. Let's do it. Right, okay, so that was very successful. My first ever tag, if you wanted, here in League Street Tunnel in London. I wrote at Sunny Makes Sense, obviously, and then Ollie has got black taxi tours over here as well. A very beautiful artwork. And then at the end over there, Gerd has written um, G Unit. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are back in the cab on our way to the next secret location. And here is a fun fact. Only 28% roughly make it to actually become a black cab driver after many, many years of training. Two and a half, three, four, five, six years even. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very highly skilled profession. And what is, um, how many, you know, every road in London, basically, right? I, I did when I passed, obviously. Almost. <laughs> Okay, here we are, stop number two. This is Bankside, and right behind me, you can see Shakespeare's Globe, one of the most famous theatres in London. And here's another fun fact for you. It's not actually the original, and it's not even the original location. We might be driving past where the original was in a minute, and I'm also going to show you this, which is the beautiful City of London view. People would come over from the city of London, just on the north side of the river. They'd come to places like Southwark for a night out, okay? When they wanted to get home because of the city curfew, they wouldn't be able to use London Bridge. So they would use a water taxi. They'd use the waterman and lighterman to get themselves back north of the shore. Shakespeare's Globe is definitely a place you should visit, by the way, when this is all over. And here I have dropped some pins for you to see that the original was in fact only 250 meters away from today's location. And in case you're wondering what happened, it burned down. This is beautiful Red Cross Garden. It was built for a lady called Octavia Oct or Octavia Hill, who fought for more green and open spaces for poorer people and who also co-founded the National Trust. Right guys, here we are, this is our next stop and you might be wondering where where are you? What is this? Why have you stopped in front of a house that says nothing? However, <laughs> let me show you this. So you can see um, the fences here that kind of cover the gardens outside the house. They were in fact, or are in fact, made from stretches from World War II. So a stretch is essentially a carrying device for injured people. Um, and if I can find a picture, I'm going to put it here now. So you can see what they were originally used for. And now they just kind of, you know, are here as fences outside this house. So what did you just say, Ollie? This is a great example for something that's This is a great hiding. example when you're in a place like London of history that's hiding in plain sight. Yes. You'd walk past this every day and you'd never know the heritage of this fence here. Exactly. So we are here in Wapping now, in front of a pub called The Prospect of Whitby. Gerd is there, very, very excited about the pub food menu, you know, because we all miss going to the pub. 
but also it claims to be the oldest riverside inn in London. And here's a fun story. Many years ago, Anya and I, we actually came here and we sat uh, outside. So out there is a beautiful roof garden and we sat there and we had Aperol and Pims and it was a lovely, lovely sunny day, which I will never forget. And afterwards we went to a rave in Tobacco Dock, which is just down there. Good old times. So. And believe it or not, right behind the pub, we found London's beach. I mean, I wouldn't recommend swimming here, but it is incredibly beautiful and it does have a dark history too. Let's have a look. So we're down here in Wapping, guys, and the noose that we can see behind me on the right, it may not be original, but it signifies the rough site of the old execution dock, okay? Mm. So this was a place where buccaneers, pirates, sea criminals were hung as a punishment for their crimes and as a way to really show anyone else passing on ships, don't mess around up here or this is where you could end up. <laughs> so here we are guys, we are at the beach in London. As you can see this Canary Wharf behind me there and then we've got the pub behind me over there and we've got the River Thames right here. So who would have thought, I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that you have a beach like that in London, that you were able to go to the beach, you know, enjoy. <laughs> beach feeling enjoy the skyline you know walk across it enjoy the sun today um, some I learned something incredible today um, obviously apart from all the other historic facts that we've learned so far as well this for me um, is more of an emotional connection that's you know with London that is strengthened so much just by the fact that I can be on the beach this looks like we have just stopped outside a you know standard rundown London hotel but apparently there is a secret that lies beneath did you say behind behind, behind. okay let's go <laughs> We are here at the London Wall, okay? We called it the London Wall, not the Roman Wall, because it wasn't only built by the Romans, okay? It was extended as well in medieval times. And the foundations of this wall, the oldest parts date back to around 200 AD. Okay guys, here we are. This is St. Dunstan in the East, one of the most beautiful, enchanting and magical old churches in London originally built around 1100 you can see it is incredibly old and um, i'm showing you a little bit of an overview now it takes me every time i come here it really is magical um, and i think because of that it does attract quite a lot of instagrammers as well so you can see behind me there's a bit of a photo shoot going on and obviously you know i've been here i've been doing photo shots i don't blame anybody who wants to come here take a normal tourist picture just take in the beauty and of the architecture or take an Instagram shot. It simply is wonderful, magical, and it is for me a must place, uh, must place, must visit place to come when you come to London and when you visit London, when you visit the city of London. Anytime you come here, you'll discover something new and it will really take you in and it will remind you of all the wonderful history and of why London is so versatile, so beautiful. I mean, this is my whole um, love letter to St. Dunstan in the East, basically. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching guys. Really hope you enjoy that insight into the city of London. If you think you'd like a tour like this for one of your friends or family, get on to www.discoverreallondon.com or catch me on Instagram, Black Taxi Tours. See you soon. What a closing to my vlog. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you're wondering where are you guys are standing, where are you finishing the tour? This is in fact Monument. Um, I have linked my other vlog from when I went up Monument right here in the cart for you guys uh, right now. Check it out if you want. I will see you very soon. I make London and travel vlogs. And if you enjoyed this, why not subscribe? Love you all.